Today I'm going to do a little demonstration of applying the gesso to these art canvases that I use for acrylic art pours. Uh, the issue that I'm running into, this is a canvas that I'll try and get it where you can see it good. And this is one of my first pours so I didn't really know what I was doing all that much anyway but you see where the canvas really shows through on this and the, you know the paint ran over it and everything and it looked good when it was wet but when it dried the canvas started showing through so I came back and I, I applied uh, some of this gesso on it to help smooth it out and this is one here I've got two of them here this is one that I put one coat on this is one I put none on this is just the way it came from the factory and I'm gonna see if you can hear this this the demonstration on it just listen to my hand running across and I'm gonna do this the same on both of them and you can hear the roughness in it okay and if you look at it I don't know how well it'll show on a video that's one that has one coat on it and this is one it's just the way that it came from the factory and these are both both canvases out of the same package so what I'm going to do, I'm going to set these to the side and I'm going to mix the gesso up. This stuff seems like it's expensive, but when you really figure it up, it goes a long, long ways. So it's probably, in the end, it's really not going to cost that much. And I put it into a little measuring cup and you want to try and I mean, you got to try and estimate how much you're going to need. That's probably going to be enough for these two small canvases. Got a little bit of something in my lid there. So I'm going to sit this off to the side. And then I've got a, uh, I've got a bottle of distilled water. And I wet it down just enough where it'll flow. And I left my stir sticks away from my video, so I'll just keep using this spoon, I guess. So all I'm looking for here is just to get where you got a pretty nice flow. I'm going to put it on with a brush, so it doesn't need to be as wet as what your acrylic paints would be when you do your pour art, but the, you still need to have a decent flow. You don't want it so thin that it's going to run off your sides. So I think that's probably pretty good right there. There's no real specific formula for it. So I'm going to come back and do the one that we haven't painted yet. Now as I'm painting these, what you do, and this is just a, this is a brush that said on the internet that it was a gesso brush, but I think it's just a, it's a really good synthetic brush no hairs will come out and get into your project and before you get too far along on it I go ahead and start hitting your sides and really pay attention to the sides and the corners because if you do this pour art you know the corners and the sides are the hardest part to get your paint to flow over and my theory is that the smoother the surface is the better that it's going to try and flow across it it is, you know, it doesn't have as much resistance, so it's going to try and flow better. And I'm putting a, a decent coat on it. I mean, I'm not applying it super thick, but I'm not going real thin either. I mean, you could do it real thin and put four or five coats on it if you wanted to, but you're talking a lot of time. And this seems like a lot of work, and it, it is. I mean, it's an extra step before you do your paintings, but sorry if I was not in the video with some of that. But uh, the thing is, if you set up and do a bunch of them at once, mix a big batch of it. I'm only doing two here for the video. But, you know, if you've got a, you, you order a whole package of canvases, you know, you could sit down and do, do all of them at the same time, and it wouldn't really be that big of a deal. Just kind of set up a little assembly line type thing with them. Okay, so I got all my sides good. And I'll come back around across the top. And what I've done with the other ones that I've already done, I just kind of go 
get it get it spread out over the whole canvas and then I'll brush stroke across one way and then brush stroke back across the other way and the I've done one pour on one that I did yesterday and I only put one coat of the gesso on it so I'm just going to go all the way across this direction and and it helped it was better but I really think that two coats is going to be even better yet and this doesn't have to be perfectly smooth because once this dries I'm going to come back and sand it and that kind of gives you that final prep there okay so that one's done so I'm going to take this one move it over now this is the one that I've already put one coat on so this will be a second coat on this board or on this I always want to call them board That'll be the second coat on this canvas. I'm hoping this really gives me the results I'm looking for. Because that's for me, that's the hardest part on these acrylic pours is really covering your sides. You know, if I end up with a bad spot somewhere on, it's always on a side or a corner. And and I know, I mean, probably not that many people really look at the sides on these things, but. I'm kind of a perfectionist when it comes to that kind of stuff and I don't want any bad spots on it so I'm gonna see if this helps and if it's like I said it's a little bit more work for prep but in the end if it makes your you know all the time and money you spent making the painting if it makes it better in the end I think it's worth it I'll just kind of hold it in a corner doing these sides until I get just basically all that's left is where I'm holding it at. Like I said, cover your corners really good and your sides really good. And then I'll sit it back down and I'll finish the side up where I was holding it. You could do it this way too, but to me it's easier to hold it to do those sides. Okay, so there's all my sides on that one. And I got a bug doing this outside today and I can already tell it's it's a uh, second coat is definitely filling in very well on this more so than just a single coat did what I'm gonna do I'm gonna finish painting this one and then I'm gonna let them dry for about an hour or so that's what I did before and uh, actually last time I let them dry for an hour and when I had it sanded really good on the top in most of the sides but like kind of on the bottom the, the very very bottom part of the sides where you had a little bit more rundown some of that was still a little gooey and it it, it still worked but just kind of bound my sandpaper up so there is my second coat on this board or this canvas we'll go both directions like we did on the other one okay so that one's done now too so I'm gonna let these dry for about an hour and we'll come back and we'll sand them clean them off and see what they look like okay these things have been drying probably now for uh, about two hours so this is the this is the one that has a second coat on it and what I'm going to sand this with this is 320 grit it's called uh, Abernet and it's a mesh type sandpaper and it's it's great man I hardly ever use regular sandpaper anymore and it's really good for this because the mesh is it's open to the back so as you sand any of your dust you can just blow it right out so it doesn't bind up like regular sandpaper so when you sand this you're just looking for a smooth feel I don't know if you can see that right there there's a little bit of a run there 
but you can't really feel it much so I'm not too worried about that as long as it feels smooth to your fingers then that's good so I'm, I'm sanding it lightly with just a little bit of pressure but nothing too hard so I'll go around and I'll sand all these sides I got a pretty good run right here this is what I was talking about where if you don't let it dry enough that'll still be gooey and it'll bind your paper up it's not the end of the world you can just let it dry a little bit more and come back and sand it but I had a pretty good run on that one right there so it's going to take a little more sanding to get that smooth down but the thing is the paint when you do your your flow painting or your uh, when you put your acrylic on there and it'll run and, and cover that pretty good anyway so I don't think it's going to be an issue what I'm really looking for is just smooth where the paint will flow well, I got a lot of runs on these edges but you can't hardly feel the texture of the canvas at all anymore okay so I got all the edges sanded I'll do one of these and then I'll come back and do the other one fast forward all right and the way I've been doing these on the tops like right here I got a little bit of a swirl from my paint but it doesn't take much to where you do it you can still see it but you can't feel it and if you can't feel it it's not going to hurt anything so what I do with these just like I got real light pressure on this So I'll go all the way across the board a couple times in this direction and then I turn the board just like I did applying the paint I go back and forth both directions and then I'll kind of take another little light pass on these corners you will be careful on the corners because you'll really rub that uh, gesso off Right there, so this is something that this paper here so as good as new. So that's the one, I and mean, that's hopefully I don't know how well the lighting is for the, you to be able to see that. You really honestly you can see a little bit of the brush strokes, but you cannot see the canvas at all anymore on that. There's one little spot right there that you can see the canvas a little bit overall that is such a dramatic improvement over what I had before so I'm gonna fast forward through this one and then we'll come back below and we'll look at them compared okay so my field test again that one feels really smooth this one I don't get that rough sound anymore but you can definitely feel the difference in the texture I know that the paint will flow better on this one than it will on this one so this helps a lot one coat helps a lot I think two is going to help even more so I'll probably pour this one the next day or two and see what a difference that it makes and I'm going to see if I can get a uh, close close up on this now okay this is the this is the uh, side that's been done twice this is the side that's been done once and if you look you can see the paint strokes a little bit but you can't really see the texture of the canvas itself here you can still see the canvas it's not as bad as it was before I put the first coat on there and it's definitely better but it's not as good as two coats so I think honestly if I had something really big I'm gonna zoom back out if I had something really big that 
you know, like a really special project or something, I'd probably take the time and put three or four coats on it, get it perfect. Uh, with these little small ones like this, I'm not too worried about it. But if I'm going to invest the money on a really big canvas and a really big pour, then I'm going to invest the time to prep it right too. So, anyway, I hope this helps. Uh, I'll have links in my description. You have to click the show more button. And I'll have links to some of the stuff that I used in the video uh, at Amazon if you can't find them anywhere else. I appreciate you watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.